All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving a system of equations. So in my system of equations, I have two equations. My first is AB plus A is equal to 32. So this is going to be my first equation. And my second equation is going to be AB plus B is equal to 35. So to solve the system of equations, I have to find the value of a and b. So to start out, what I'm going to do is subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So equation 1 minus equation 2. Equation 1 is a plus, ab plus a equals 32. So I have ab plus a minus ab plus b is equal to 32 minus 35. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is distribute the negative sign. So now I get ab plus a minus ab minus b is equal to 32 minus 5, which is equal to negative 3. Now I can cancel out ab and negative ab. So I'm left with a minus b is equal to negative 3. And this means that a is equal to b minus 3. So now what I can do is substitute this value of a into equation number 2. So equation number 2 is ab plus b equals 35, right? Well, now that I've got a value of a in correlation to the value of b, I can plug this in. So now I get b minus 3 times b plus b is equal to 35. And now my only variable in this equation is b. So we can solve this. What I'm first going to do is distribute the b. b times b is b squared, and b times negative 3 is negative 3b. And now I have this plus b is equal to 35 and negative 3b plus b is equal to negative 2b and if I subtract 35 on both sides I get b squared minus 2b minus 35 is equal to 0. Now from here what I'm going to do is actually add this back because we did miss a step. So b squared minus 2b is equal to 35 once again. Actually, before doing that, what I'm going to do is add 1 on both sides. So now I have b squared minus 2b plus 1 is equal to 36. And now the reason I did that <clears throat> is because b squared minus 2b plus 1 is the same thing as b minus 1 squared. And now I can take the square root on both sides because the square root of 36 is a whole number. And now I get b minus 1 is equal to positive or negative 6. So this gives me two equations. I get b minus 1 is equal to positive 6, and b minus 1 is equal to negative 6. So for b minus 1 equals positive 6, I can just add 1 on both sides, and I get b equals 7. And for b minus 1 equals negative 6, I can again add 1 on both sides, and I get b equals negative 5. So now from here, I have to plug this back in to this equation right here, a, b plus b equals 35. So if b equals 7, I get 7a plus 7 is equal to 35, meaning 7a is equal to 28, and a equals 4. So if a equals 4, then b equals 7. This is one solution to my system equations. And now if b equals negative 5, I get negative 5a minus 5 is equal to 35, meaning negative 5a is equal to 40, and a equals negative 8. So if b equals negative 5, then a equals negative 8. So these are my two solutions. 
All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 16 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the power of 1 over 2x on both sides. So I get 16 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 2x is equal to x to the power of 2 to the power of 1 over 2x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So we can use this property for both of these terms. 16 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 2x is equal to 16 to the power of x times 1 over 2x and x to the power of 2 to the power of 1 over 2x is equal to x to the power of 2 times 1 over 2x. Now, the x and x cancel out on my left-hand side because they multiply out, so I'm left with 16 to the power of 1 half on my left-hand side. And for my right-hand side, the 2's cancel out, so I'm left with x to the power of 1 over x. Now, my goal is to turn the left side to be in the form some number to the power of 1 over that number. So we can make that number our solution. Well, right now, this means that 16 and 2 have to turn into the same number. So we need to rearrange this so that 16 and 2 are the same number. So to do that, Sixteen is the same thing as four squared. So I'm going to rewrite it as four squared. So I have four squared to the power of one half is equal to x to the power of one over x. And now remember these two multiply. Two times one half is just one. So I'm left with four is equal to x to the power of one over x. Now four is the same thing as negative two squared. And two, our exponent here, I can rewrite as one over negative one half. And I have this times negative one. So I have one over negative one half times negative one. And remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So this negative one, I'm gonna move to be an exponent of negative 2. So I get negative 2 to the power of negative 1 to the power of 1 over negative 1 half is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And negative 2 to the power of negative 1 is 1 over negative 2. So my solution here is negative 1 half.